All right, so today we'll do Silver Bells, Christmas classic for sure. And uh, I played it pretty up-tempo. You can definitely slow it down if you want to, but I did it pretty fast, kind of moving along at a good little, a good little clip. And it's in the key of, key of A. And uh, I made up sort of an introduction to it. You can do any, um, do really, really whatever you want over the verses. Uh, but I just did sort of a verse, just, um, just kind of going through the chords and adding a little bit of spice. So what I did was, what I did was this. Starting at the A, the A here at the fifth fret, the D, then B minor, and then E major, and adding an E7 there. Just that. So again, if you want to play your own thing, you can. Uh, the chords are just uh, A to D to B minor to E major. And you can add your own melodies on top of that if you want to, just to provide a bit of an introduction. Or you can go straight into the melody. So for the melody, uh, the first time through, I did it here, and I'm really sticking with single notes and bass lines. For the last one, I added a bit more harmony, but for this time through, I really just do bass line and the melody. And I usually mute it a little bit with my right hand, just a little bit. I find it allows the bass note to come out a little bit if I mute it, as compared to or let each note really ring out the whole value. I, I like to mute it just a little bit, so the melody, which you'll recognize. And a big slide up here. And that slide, I think, is I find really effective. Just to give it a bit of character. And then the rest of the melody. And then that little chromatic walk down there. I like... Uh, playing that on the open string instead of at the fifth fret. But that gives it also just a bit of character then and the phrase like that. Second half is exactly the same. Until the end. Again, I'm letting that open string ring out then. Another nice slide to throw in there. To end the verse, then we're into the the chorus, and um, and there's sort of a bit of a a bit of a call and response here. So the main melody is, and then I'm harmonizing that there, and harmonizing that, and I'm harmonizing this. So this I harmonized in thirds. This I'm doing now in sixth. If you're interested in that. So it's nice to really distinguish those um, um, separately. So you've got here just the melody note. And then here, when you're harmonizing it, make sure you really bring out the uh, harmony note very nice and clear to make sure it's, it's, that difference is very clear. And then here, too. You want the melody to be there, but the harmony to be there very strongly, too. melody down uh, an octave and this is probably the toughest part of the tune uh, it's a lot for your left hand to sort of cover um, without getting in without getting in the way of the strings that should be ringing out but just take it take it slow and after a bit of practice you'll be able to get it so and I find it helpful here to just bar on the second fret uh, you can do that or not It's a bit of a funny sound, so you want to cut that off like that, and then it repeats. Okay. And again, I'm sort of muting with my palm a little bit to allow the bass to really come out. And then the chorus. What I'm doing here is I'm echoing it. I'm not harmonizing it, but I'm echoing the melody an octave up. So like that, and let that ring string, that open string ring out, and then this is a bit of this is the biggest stretch here. If you don't want to do that, you can do like 
that instead of doing it stretch all at once. You can do it over the open string. And then echoing that an octave up. Like that. And for that you will need to jump to the open string. So that whole second half there. And harmonizing that down the octave. guitar solo over the uh, again it's the same opening chords um, A to D to B to B minor to E major and um, what I what I put in was a little bit arbitrary but I did notate it so you can do this if you want to basically like that just sort of a little bluesy riff over the A and then triplets over the D then over then D major E major again actually I sorry I should point out I actually didn't go to B minor there I just did uh, A to D major to E major that's all I didn't go to the B, mi B minor at all in that little solo section okay then uh, once again I'm repeating the first verse uh, but I'm adding a few more harmony notes here few more notes also. So the melody and the harmony. And doing it in sixth now. Okay. Then I'm doing complete triads here for the last part of it. just doing the melody note because I couldn't it's a little tough to move from that to th this chord to this chord quickly but those chords are really effective you can get them in you can get them in there and I basically just ended on that uh, just suspend it a little bit and on the A all right as always let me know if you have any uh, questions uh, or comments about the arrangement and um, thanks as always for your support